Okay, folks, now I got a dual setup. So I got a ZVE 10, and I'm showing you the mirror and the camera. So this is the Z30, this is a ZVE 10, okay? You can see the volume on this. You cannot see the volume on here, and they're both recording. There is a tally light. That's telling me that it's recording. There's a tally light right here that it's recording. Uh, there is a little light in the back. Shows me it's uh, recording. And the only thing I notice is the green light that the power is on. But I don't know if that's for recording or if it's just say the camera is on. Okay. So this is the Z. Turn it on. Recognizes me. Turn on record. So I see no volume on the ZV-10. So I think I messed up my other lens, the kit lens for the ZV-10. But since I have the A6100, I put that lens on here, the kit lens, and it's working fine. So also I have 38% battery on here. So I'm charging uh, two batteries right now and uh, I'll probably have to charge this one and the other one that leaves me one extra battery where I can just charge on the camera so I'm doing good come back around so this is the way you're supposed to handle it I was doing it with the handle on the front tripod and you see what happened a little cursing a little dropping I have a tile floor and it, the lens is probably shot. So I have to take a look at it. Try to do some things to get it back going. But this is a quick demo. And if I turn this around. <clears throat> now we have both cameras at 16. Uh, the ZVE 10 is at f3.5. 1 60th of the shutter speed. And the ISO is 1000, where on the Z30 it's 500. So that's the only difference. I look a little bit more orange. Let me get back here. Yeah. So I look red. Okay. Okay, now I'm a little bit different. But... Um, Oh, it might be too bright, but this is 3.5, okay? And right now the tracking is fantastic on the uh, Z30. So, anyway, if I'm looking at the battery life, it's at 32%, 4K30. And on the, uh, it's, this is 4K30 on the Z30. So this is autofocus continuous here, and this is not continuous, this is just autofocus. So I'm going to go back to the setting. Now the one other thing is, watch this. So I'm going to turn this off and try to get in the menu, and guess what happens. Okay, so if we go in the menu. I can't, it doesn't work. So what I have to do is this. Turn around. I'll put it down here. Okay. And you just remove the mic back over here. So I go like this, turn like that. Now it's gonna work. So I hit the uh, menu. Look at that. And then I hit on AFS. This is what I liked about Nikon. So, auto area, people, okay? And then I just hit the menu back, scroll back. And then if I go up, this is the focus mode. Ah! There we go. So, I had single auto focus. Let's try continuous, okay? And I usually have 
full-time autofocus. So I'm just trying a different focusing. I'll put this back. Okay. Oh, it would help also if I got it on the menu. Turn this like that. Now, make sure I don't drop this one. Turn it on. Okay. So this is continuous. Notice that on the single, it was around my eye all the time. This is, it's focusing now. This is a Sony lens, okay? And you can see. All right. See, it goes in and out. So the continuous, I don't think does a very good job. If I go back, and you know, the glasses might have tricked it. This is all before the firmware update. See if it improves anything. Do I look better? Okay. And uh, I'll do it one more time. Turn off the uh, recording. I should have the microphone with me all times, folks, but I'm sorry. Got my hands full. So, go back into the menu. Focus mode. Let's do... Now, the third one. I don't want to do manual focus. I'll do full-time autofocus. This is how I have most of the cameras on. Turn this around. Pick this camera up. Put it right here. All right, now I know this is a long video. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of videos together. But as you can see, with autofocusing, with the Sony lens on the Z30 camera, I think I'm trying to find out which one is better. I think the Autofocus S looks better. Let me go back. So I'll find out which one is a better focusing. I'm moving, I see the tally light on. Okay. See, now I'm getting closer. Now it's on my face. Before it was over here. I don't know if that's from the contrast. It's still here on the side. So I'm coming back in. I don't see a box. It lost me. But I bet you I'm in focus. We go that way. See, there's no box. Ah, there's a box. So maybe I was too close. Okay. Still recording. Battery's lasting. So I'm going to end this video. If you like this type of content, uh, please give me a like, subscribe. Hit that uh, notification bell for any more upcoming videos. And as always, stay safe. Keep smiling. Until next time. Bye. Okay, folks, I'm back. I got to show you something. So if you look at this lens, this is the problem. One part's in, the other part's out. That's why when I dropped it, it messed up the lens. So I'm going to try to straighten it up, but I don't think I can, okay? But anyway, 
That's why you have to be careful with your equipment. I had uh, no lens hood for this. Usually that's how it protects my uh, cameras. But uh, in this case, this is a kit lens for the ZV-10. What you're viewing me on is the kit lens for the A6100. Same lens. And uh, I turn this back, turn it around so I can see what I'm seeing. And then I can use the, the scroll. See how fast that zooms in? Alright, it's supposed to focus. There it goes. See? Fast. Now, if I do it just on the lens, watch what happens. See, I like that smoothness right there. That's off the lens. So I have it on the camera. I can make it much faster. But this uh, glides more easier just off the lens. Is that 3.5? That's f.4, 4.5, 5, 6. Yeah, 5.6 is the highest. And that's at 50 millimeters. And let's try to get it in focus. There it goes. And scroll back out. Right at 16 millimeters. Okay. So anyway, uh, I'll get back with you. Bye.